It's the Black Real Estate Dialogue. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. If you're someone who lives in an area where it's so expensive to buy real estate and you feel like it's impossible, then I have something for you. I just released a free guide that's going to give you the eight steps you need to take to buy your first out-of-state property. I've bought several properties out of state, living in California, investing in Ohio, and you can do the same. It's just a matter of having the right information. So click the link in the description of this episode to get your free guide today. Uh, one thing that I found really exciting in, in my research is the name of the streets. Mm -hmm. uh, so Tucson and Desalines streets. And so for those who don't know, Tucson, Louverto, and Jean-Jacques Desalines were two uh, leaders of the Haitian Revolution. My, my parents are from Haiti, so I was even more excited about this episode mm -hmm. once I heard that. Um, yeah. But I would love to hear more about you know why you decided to uh, name the streets of the community after those two. Uh, let's hear from you, Justin. So uh, I read this piece of literature, uh, The Black Jacobins. I hope I'm like like saying it right, but I read this piece of literature maybe three years ago, and um, it sent me down this like I just fell in love with like the Haitian Revolution and what it stood for, and um, um, Tucson and Dessaline and like the although they're not um, Americans, they're not Black Americans, but they tell the story of the greatest story of um, these Black people like beating oppression. Beating the strongest forces in the world, you know, the French, the French government, the Spanish government, the British government, um, and like liberating, liberating Santo Domingo, which is, is Haiti, the founders of Haiti, you know, um, and so those people, those people became my heroes because they done the most, they they had done the most extraordinary thing that I ever like. Thought of or saw, uh, it's just they did the most amazing things. And um, where we live in Louisiana and most of the South, uh, there are lots of neighborhoods named Plantation This and Plantation That, right? Mm -hmm. And so the developer gets to choose the name of the neighborhood. So um, we chose the name of our neighborhood, right? You name your things after your heroes. You name thing, you memorialize things that are important to you, um, and so it was important for us to memorialize our heroes, right? So anybody who who doesn't know who Tucson Levator or, or Desaline is should probably should probably know, you know. Yeah, love it. We can end, we can end the episode there. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, love it, love it. So you mentioned that the 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 land was like wooded, so this it was like woods. Yeah, it's all it trees, crazy. woods, you know, nothing, nothing is there. Wow. So once you get the green light, what is that process like to just get rid of all of that, create the lots and stuff? Like, can you, can you, can you guys walk us through what that process is? Because for a lot of people, it's hard to, you, you, you know, you drive by on the freeway, you drive by woods, yeah. you don't think nothing of it, but obviously you got to have a vision to be able to see what that could become. Right. Um, so. I'm curious, like, what's that process from like trees and woods to to land and and so on? Um, basically, uh, finding key subcontractors mm -hmm. um, to be able to handle uh, the task at hand. You know, um, identifying the ones that can handle clearing twenty acres at one time, or mm -hmm. or five acres, or however you phase in your project. Uh, being able to be able to put your um, schedule together with your different subcontractors to to make it all plat and work together, you know. So right. um, the process is kind of um, each city, each area is different. Mm -hmm. um, so the process for Shreveport or the process for Keyville or Greenwood, they all had different pieces to the puzzle. But it's the same, uh, if I could say it in so many words. Uh, but just uh, finding, really working with key subcontractors is important. Um, knowing, knowing not to hire your your DNF contractors, <laughs> 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 you know. So, uh, but that's a whole nother story, whole nother episode, right. you know. So there's a there's a multitude of 
subcontractors and professional services. There's a multitude of engineering and arch architecture. There's a, um, I won't say that it's complex because I don't want to dis discourage anyone, right? But um, developing is, it's not as simple as it may seem, mm. but it's not, it's not difficult once you like, you learn, but there's a, there's lots of upfront expenses, engineering, architecture, like zoning changes, you know, lawyers, fees, um, um, it's just, there's a lot, lot to it and a lot of moving pieces and, right. um, beautiful thing. And so you even have like streets and drainage. It's a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of things that come into play when you like developing a, a, a neighborhood. Um, and, um, a lot of those things are like, it's like playing the orchestra. So, so I, me and Terrell talk about this all the time. So, mm -hmm. And I always joke with him, but I, I, I tell him, I say, I say to Rev, they play instruments, but me and you, we play the orchestra, you know? And so it's playing the orchestra. It's exactly what it is. You have like dirt and bulldozers and heavy machinery working while you have engineers and architects um, on the left side working, you know? Mm -hmm. And it all plays like, like, like music, you know? Yeah. Right. And, and you're, your in-house staff, our in-house staff is great, is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not doing it by ourselves. You see us yeah. out front, but we got a staff of, you know, 10 plus people that's worked full time for us in the office uh, to make sure all the pieces of the puzzle uh, is moving. Yeah. Uh, so really having your team um yeah. um it is it's key you know you can't do it you, you can't come over here talking about developing you don't have a full-time account you can't come talk about developing you don't have the proper project managers right. you can't talk about developing if you ain't got your human resources in fact intact you right. know and so um having a a, a full-time team that's like to have your back we always talk about we win the super bowl you know, we all in this, everybody's playing a position yep. so we could go win the Super Bowl. Yeah, absolutely. So th there's interior infrastructure and then you have like like outside people that you like, you, you have to use, you have to collaborate with other institutions that, um, that behave similar to your institution, right? Mm -hmm. You also have the pressure of like um, using people who you wouldn't particularly choose to use, but you feel pressured and obligated, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we have this thing that we, we say like, um, before we hire you, get the first base. Got to get the first base first, right? If we're going to give you a chance, you're going to come work for us or work with us, we need you to put some, put some form of work in, you know? Mm -hmm. We need you to have like, Done something. Right, right. Yeah, a lot of people want opportunity without putting in the work. You know, like, hey, give me the opportunity, but they haven't done the prerequisite to be ready for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we talk about that all the time. Yeah. So that's all a part of, like, making the trees being removed is that, hey, you're on first base. Yeah. Um, you 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 ready and you can handle, handle this, but you have to see the prerequisite. You have to know. Um, we have to know that, hey, you you really want this. Like, this is what you do. Because uh, you can get out there and use the wrong subcontractor. Yeah. And you end up worse than you right. end. Because um, believe it or not, while the tree's still standing, you're already a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in before wow. you even move a tree. <laughs> wow. You know, and so um that that's real important for us is that you be on first base. Now, if you're on second base, it's even better. Yeah. <laughs> right. But being on first base, you know, we we look, we we love giving a lot of people opportunities. We big on that. Mm -hmm. We big on growing your brand. We big on helping and assisting. But all we ask you to do is be on first base first. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. What's up, y'all? Sam here from the Black Real Estate Dialogue Podcast. Thank you so much for watching another episode. Definitely take a moment to subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Also, visit our website, blackrealestatedialogue.com and follow on Instagram at blackrealestatedialogue. Talk to you soon.